Hey everyone, this is Jared Trotter with Go Engineer, and today I have a quick tip for you on swept cuts inside of SolidWorks. You can see here where I have a simple cylinder along with a composite curve on its surface. Now the idea here is to create a swept cut with a tool body rather than a sketch. That's what this little revolve feature is for. As with any feature that is meant as a tool body, the merge result option has been turned off so that it is its own body. I'll go ahead and select the swept cut feature. Under profile and path, I need to choose solid profile, which allows me to select the revolve feature. Moving down to the path, I'll select the composite curve. I'll click OK and we'll see what happens. You can see that the cut looks pretty good at the start, but as I move along the helix, there's a change in the profile that does not match our desired result. So let's go back and edit the feature and expand the options section. I'll turn on show preview to help us visualize what's happening. There are two settings here. The first is profile orientation and that needs to stay on follow path. Profile twist is what needs to be adjusted. Instead of minimum twist, I want that to be set to specified direction vector. This allows me to make an additional selection of a face, plane, or axis of some sort. Two of the picks that would work here are the cylindrical face of the part we're cutting, or the axis that runs through it. A good way of thinking about how SolidWorks uses this information is the tool body will maintain its orientation towards this axis as it is swept along the path. Clicking the green check mark, we can see that the cut looks better along the helical portion, and more like what you would expect when this part is physically cut. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And be sure to check out other tips and tricks on our channel. Thanks for watching.